Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at creating a theme in Plenty. Now, what we're really going to be doing is we're just going to create a regular Plenty site, and we're going to use some of these themes on the Hugo website as a model. So first of all, today is this big spring theme here, and you can see a screenshot of it over here, and I actually have this demo opened up so you can see the big spring website over here, and if I expand that, you can see it looks like this. Now. I've gone through and I've done a couple of things to set up the project. So over here in my terminal, the very first thing I did was I created a new scaffolding for the site. So let's take a look here. And I ran the plenty new site big spring bear command. So this creates a new bear plenty repository. So it's just a, a plenty site with not very many files in it. And then after I created that, I went inside that folder and I basically opened it up in Codium. And that opened that up in my text editor over here. So I'm using VS Codium. It's very similar to VS Code. And basically what I'm doing is I've only started editing this index.json file. I haven't done any editing besides that. And I started my web server down here locally. So if you come down here, I just did a plenty serve inside the big spring folder that starts up the web server. And then I started adding this content to the index.json file. Now, the way I'm going about doing this is I'm trying to model out my content first, and then I'll create the component structure around that content, and we're gonna do a, a content-driven component style website. So let's come over here and just take a look at how I'm approaching this. So what I did is I'm starting and I'm breaking this site into sections. So there is this first section here, which is the navigation. For now, I'm not worrying about that. I'll come back and do that in a minute. And then this first section here, looks like an intro or a hero section. So it has a title, it has some kind of body description, it has a link here to the contact page, and it has this image. And that's one full section there. It looks like a big slice on the page. The next section here would be this something you need to know section, and then there's more sections below it. So let's take a look at how this actually models to our content. If I come back over here, you'll see that we have this component section, and it says we have a component named hero, so I'm naming that first section hero. And then I have fields here and I have a title, body, link, and image. So that corresponds to title, body, link, and image. And then you can see that I'm specifying the information from the website. So it starts with let's solve your critical website development uh, challenges. And so that's this piece right here and so forth. So this references the image that's over here and basically modeling that out. Now the next section here, I had to name this something. So this looks like a grid to me. So the grid has a title and it has some items. So I'm going through and I'm actually building that out right now. So I have another component here, it's called grid. So then we have a bunch of fields. The first field is the title field. So it's the something you need to know field. And then we have some items here. So we have things like the first item, clean code, and that corresponds to clean code, some lorem ipsum. And then it looks at this icon here. And this icon is actually just being pulled out of an icon pack called the Themify icon. So we'll have to download this at some point, which I, I did over here. And then we'll have to add that to our project as well. Let's worry about the content for now. We'll come back later and we'll add some more of that stuff. So coming back over here to the website, we have done the clean code, but then we just copied that and pasted a bunch of different times. So if I were to look here, they all say clean code. So we actually should go through here and update this information to have the other items from that grid. So I'm going to come back over here and grab object oriented. Now, one of the benefits of this is all the description here is just using Lorne Ipsum, so we can leave the descriptions as is for all these items. We just want to change the titles and change the actual items that the SVG is referencing. So I'll come over here and I'll make this next section here. This is the second one. I'll make the object oriented. I'll inspect the element on this image here by right clicking and coming down here. And I'll look at this eye here. And if I were to open this up, you can see the before. And the before actually references this content here. So we could reference that content directly, but I think it's better to actually just use this class name here. So I'm going to actually copy this and I'm going to change this on the one I did before. So I'm going to come up here and let's make this equal to that. And I think these are all going to be MB3. So that's something we could actually template. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to reference the difference here. And the difference is the actual icon that's different. So let's come over here and take a look at this. Yeah, so this is TI Pulse with an MB3. So the three, this MB3 is the sizing here. If we were to come over here on the right hand side, you can probably see. Yeah. Okay, so this is the margin bottom that we have here. So um, yeah, margin bottom three, it looks like. So that's okay. We'll add that in manually in our template later. Let's for now, let's grab this TI Pulse. Copy this. And we'll use this instead of this little code here. We don't need to do that. We'll just use the class name. 
and we'll use that to add to our markup. Okay, let's keep going here. So the third item is going to be 24 hour service. And we'll just pop that in there. 24 hour service has an icon of TI alarm clock. Come down here. Okay, great. So we can save that. And it looks like we have an invalid. So we have an error here and when our plenty tries to rebuild, that's because this is not valid JSON. So you have to save that and it should rebuild successfully there. You can see that the new build built fine without errors. Okay, so we're on to the next section here. So we have another section here. If we're to look at this visually on our browser, let's take a look here, bigger screen. So we have some text on the left-hand side, then we have a slideshow on the right, then we have some text on the right-hand side, and we have a still image on the left. And we have something similar again, text on the left with image on the right, and text on the right with image on the left. So these are all very similar sections. So although this one has a slideshow and the image is on the other side, it really is just a variation on the same type of component. So I think we could combine this component all into one single component. And I'll call that uh, image text block because there's an image and a text block. And then basically we can pass options to make the image on the right or the left, um, et cetera. So I'm gonna make a new component over here after this one here. So this is our last component here. And we'll add a comma, make a new component, and we'll give this a component of uh, image text block and this will have fields and the fields in this will be an object and let's take a look we, we have a title description link images potentially so let's let's do all the configuration for where the image appears and whether there's multiple in the images object will make an object that's a little more complex for that but let's start with these standard simple objects so we have title and since we're doing this first instance of this component we'll do this as the title and then we have body and the body will be this text here Then we have link, and the link is going to be an object that has two aspects. There will be the title. That's the text that actually displays. It says, check it out. So we can just write that, check it out. And then we have where it actually goes, the actual URL for it. And I don't know if this actually goes anywhere. Okay, so it just goes back to the top of the page. So for now, we can just say the URL is forward slash. So that's fine. And then uh, one aspect that you might want to configure with content or might not want to configure is this little arrow icon. Since all the links kind of have the same icon going the same way and they all animate exactly the same way, you could probably just hard code that. You might even be able to hard code the check it out text, but I think it'd be better to put that in text that's editable in the content source. So let's do something like this. I think that's fine like that. And then let's come down here and now we need the image section. And this will be an object. And basically we'll say there's a position And in this case, the position is to the right. And there's a URL. And this will go to the actual like image URL. So let's right click on this and let's take a look at this. Okay, so we have service3.png. We'll just do that for now. Service3.png and we're gonna have to download all these things anyways. And now this will not accommodate a slideshow as is, but let's just do a, a static image for now. Let's get all the 
uh, image text block components working, and then we can come back and we can convert this into a slideshow. But let's first get this working at a very basic level. Okay, so that's everything we need for that specific component. We can come down here and we can duplicate this. So let's do, actually we should probably just add a comma here at the bottom so it's easier to copy it. And let's see here. So we're going to have to, we have one, two, three, four, four of those in a row. So we already have the one. Let's just copy this three more times. One, two, three. Okay, so we have that image text block a few more times. And let's just go through and fill out the information for these other sections. So let's get out of this. We already have this first one. Let's grab the title for the second one here. And let's replace this. And then the lorem ipsum is probably the same. It looks to be the same, so we can leave that. The check it out is the same. We can leave that. And we really would just need to fix the image here. So I assume this is the same image name with a different number. So services one, okay, great. So we can come down here, we can just change this to services one. It doesn't really matter at this point. We can go through and revise all this stuff. But let's just save it like that. Then we come down here. We have another image text block. This time the title is about the experienced team. And copy that and replace the title. Leave the lorem ipsum, leave the link, and let's take a look at what image we're using here. Services 2, okay. Let's just put this as services 2, that's fine. Save that, okay. Oh, and then do we have one more? Oh, we have one more, okay. So then the last one here, come down here and do the same thing. image services three which is already there okay all right so that's looking good now let's see what other sections we have here has a little outro section here uh, two sections are kind of similar okay and then it has a footer okay so you have to think about what these sections are this section kind of looks like a banner. It's just a big image with a title. So we might want to call that a banner section. And then this is like a call to action, ready to get started. So we call this a call to action section or component. So let's do something like that. Let's come back in here and we'll create a new object here and we'll call the component. In this case, we'll name it banner. And banner will have a bunch of fields. Actually, not a bunch. It'll have a couple fields. And one is the title. One is the image. So we have title. That title being experience the best workflow with us. Oops. And put this all on one line. And the image here. What's the image? Let's inspect it. And it's just called screenshot. <laughs> okay, we'll just call it screenshot.svg. So image is screenshot.svg. Okay. And then we have a call to action section. Let's get that as well. We'll just call this component. We'll call that component CTA, call to action. And this will have fields. And those fields will be title, body, link, image. Kind of like all the other stuff. Okay. So let's uh, make another object here. One of these will be title. And that title will be ready to get started. We'll have, whoops, we'll have our body. That will be the lorem ipsum text for now. And then we'll have an image 
like always, the image will be an object with a title. Contact us. And it will have a URL and that will go to the contact page. Okay, so that's good. And now, when you think about this, so we've done all these components on this page, right? So we've done everything here from this call to action, through the banner, through some image text blocks, through a grid, through a hero or an intro, but we didn't do the uh, upper nav here or the lower footer all the way on the bottom. Now, we're not going to put that stuff into our content source because every page on the website is going to have those features although the in-between sections here might be different on a page-to-page -page basis. So we're gonna hard code the top header being this nav bar and the footer into our main uh, page templates and then we'll use the content to define the rest of these components like we're doing here.